Hi friends, uh, so welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about another important topic as far as your financial investment is concerned. I am going to talk about a topic called as XIRR, importance of this term called as XIRR. Let's first understand what is XIRR. XIRR is basically called as extended internal rate of return. So let me not talk about technical terms. In simple words, it's the return which you earn from making an investment. So whenever we make investments, we keep thinking about how much returns are we going to generate. Are we generating a 5% return, 7% return, 10% return, 12% return. To give an example, when you create a fixed deposit, you will earn a rate of return of 6%. The, normally the interest paid is around 6% each. Uh, when you create, uh, when you invest in PPF, public provident fund, the returns used to be around 7%. So there are multiple investment avenues available and an investor may want to know how much return is he generating from the investment because that's the base. Without knowing how much return are you generating, you will not be in a position to take right decision. So XIRR is basically the extended internal rate of return. This is useful, so it's similar to internal rate of return. Uh, but let me not get into the technical meaning of it. What I can say is, this is basically how much return are you generating from your investments which you have made. Now, this is XIRR as a concept is useful when there are multiple transactions happening. So, for example, if you are buying an investment option LIC, a life insurance investment option, you are going through that. Then what happens is you will pay insurance premium every year and you may get lump sum amount at the end of the period or you may get it in multiple tranches also. For example, there are uh, child uh, money back plans where what happens is you pay some 20,000 every year for some 10-15 years. Then at the age of 18, you get back some amount. At the age of 20, you get back some amount. At the age of 25, you get back some amount. So there are multiple values which you will get back at different points of time. Now, when you are planning to enter into this transaction, first thing you should always try to do is calculate what is the return arising out of this investment which is being made. Because your financial advisor would tell you that you will have to pay 10,000 for 10 years and at the end of 15 years or at the end of 20 years or at the end of 25 years, you will get back an amount. Uh, the amount may look huge. You may feel that you are getting a very high return, but it's always good to calculate XIRR. So in this video, we are going to explain you how do you calculate XIRR. So we have learned what is XIRR. What is the importance of learning this XIRR is uh, XIRR can be useful in order to decide, for example, should I go for life insurance, investment option, should I go for PPF, should I go for fixed deposit, should I go for mutual fund, should I go for equity. So you have multiple options which are available. So which option do you go with for your investments? Uh, there are uh, multiple avenues available. You will have to decide which is the right one for you. So pre-entry XIRR concept can be used. And XIRR can also be later used when you want to calculate what returns you have actually generated. There are two types of investments which will happen. One is fixed maturity. There, whatever happens to the market side movements, whatever happens to the interest rate, you will get a fixed amount. For example, if you invest in a fixed deposit, at the end of one year or five years, you will get back a fixed amount because the rate of interest would have been already fixed at the time when you enter into the transaction. Another example is mutual fund investment, where the returns which you generate can be different. So what can be done is XIRR can be used to first calculate the returns before investment. It can also be ca used to calculate what returns are you generating. Now, how do I calculate XIRR is what we plan to explain. But before that, I thought I'll give you two examples. Pay 5,000 per month for 10 years, which is basically paying 6 lakh rupees. 5,000 per month for 10 years, which is basically paying 6 lakh. And you get back 9 lakh 46,000 after 15 years. So this is one option. This is available in the public domain. If you search about uh, investment options, your life insurance investment option, this type of an option may come or pay 10,000 per month for 10 years and get 28 lakhs after 20 years. Now, lot of people may think that this is giving a very healthy returns. Some may think this is not giving healthy returns. But without even calculating, you are just doing a guesswork. So here we thought we will help you out in how do you calculate this. 
in order to do this we have our xirr calculator which we are adding it in the video it is nothing a new thing which we are creating it's basically a function which is available in microsoft excel so you should have some basic understanding of using excel you'll be able to calculate this so what we are doing here is i'm putting two items date of cash flow and amount in the date of cash flow i put today's date 3rd august 2022 so we have put the today's date uh, We have put uh, today's date in the, uh, the <coughs> Excel, 3rd August 2022, 5000 and I kept on adding something to it. I have done plus 1461 divided by 48. What is 48 is basically a 4 year period I have taken. In a 4 year period you have 1461 days. So basically I have got the next next month dates here. So every month you keep investing 5000 rupees. You do this from 2022 till 2032 and you get back 9 lakh 46 this is basically giving you a return of 4.55 percent well it's a good return or a bad return that's a call you can take but before making investment please do calculate returns like that and you have a formula xirr is equal to you put uh, the various cash flows and select the dates and the returns will get calculated so we are earning a return of 4.55 percent the other example we are earning a return of 5.7 percent so you will have to just put what is the date of investment 3rd august 22 and after 15 years 2nd august 37 you will get back the amount 3rd august 22 you invest you get back the amount on 3rd august 42 after 20 years so put the date of cash flow and the amount if it's an outflow it's minus if it's an inflow it's plus so this way you will be able to calculate the returns which you are generating from an investment and this can help you in deciding whether it is a good option or not some investment avenues may look like very attractive but giving a return of only 2 3% then it doesn't make sense for us to invest in such option so this is very useful please do calculate the returns which you generate before investing in any option like you have ppf pf mutual funds equities portfolio management services fixed maturity plans so multiple avenues are available but do calculate returns before making your investments <coughs> thank you friends